Hey everyone, this is Dave with Android Police, and we are here at CES 2017 at the Chrysler booth, which may seem a bit odd if you have not been following the news about Chrysler and Android at CES, but if you have, you probably know why we're here. Now, one of the most exciting Android announcements at CES for me so far has been the news that Chrysler and Google have collaborated to build a dedicated version of the Android operating system for a car. Now, this isn't Android Auto. This is full-on Android Nougat running in a car. Now, Chrysler is showing off the proof of concept in a modified 300S sedan at its booth here at the show, and we sat in the back for a look at the impressive system. I know your first thought may be, why not use Android Auto? And we'll get there, I promise. But I think the best way to explain why this new OS exists is simply by telling you what it does. First, because it's Android, Chrysler's concept OS runs from your old Android apps. There are versions of Google Maps, Play Music, NPR One, and Pocket Cast, all on Chrysler's concept OS. Now, it's probably no coincidence these apps are also all available on Android Auto, but that really is probably more a result of convenience in terms of interface and readiness right now in this prototype stage. What makes Chrysler's new OS really work for me is a seamless integration with the Google Assistant, though. You can activate the Google Assistant just like you would in the voice commands for Android Auto, but without ever needing your phone connected at all to the car. So anyone who drives your car can access the handy voice command and app features. On display was a customized version of Google Maps that was used for navigation, and Chrysler demoed a neat fusion of Assistant and Maps functionality, whereby the driver asked about a landmark, and then asked Google, contextually, take me there. It's definitely pretty neat, and it's a cool demo of the functionality Assistant can provide through contextual clues in the car. Now, eventually these commands could do things that are much cooler, if you ask me. They could adjust the vehicle's climate control, various settings, and other functions because it's all integrated into the car's actual operating system. And that's damn cool if you ask me. There's no messing with the dual interface system as you're forced to an Android Auto because the car's interface is built with the Google functionality available natively as part of the OS. This feels so much more tightly integrated than Android Auto, and the performance of the concept OS was downright impressive, definitely better than Android Auto's projected mode. It seemed snappy and responsive, and actually really dug a lot of the design choices Chrysler made in terms of the UI, something I can't say of many uh, car infotainment systems these days. To me, this isn't a move away from Android Auto either. In fact, it's, it's really the opposite. It's doubling down on the benefits of Auto by building them directly into vehicles in a way that feels native. That's a huge step forward for Android in the car. Unfortunately, Chrysler really wasn't willing to tell us almost anything about the operating system on a technical level. In fact, after our first demonstration, when we asked for a chance to record the full demo for our video here, they actually refused to allow us to show you that demo again. It was pretty bizarre, but hopefully it'll be less secretive as the concept develops, because based on what I saw, it's a very promising start.